so far this season. Meanwhile, Lehigh tied for seventh in the country, 67%. And Sisselberger, third individually at 75%. And since Colucci's come back, he's really been a uh, presence at the faceoff X. If Colgate can win these draws, not only with their faceoff guy, but also the two wing guys, it will enable them to keep the ball away from this uh, Lehigh attack. And Christian McHugh, the wing, knocks that one away from Colgate. And it's the Mountain Hawks that have the first possession. And shelling here oh, and find that shooter. A lot of quick succession passes leading to that score from Ule, his seventh of the season. That's something head coach Kevin Cassie says is really a strength of this Mountain Hawks squad. Team-based, unselfish play. And a really messy face-off there. Still fighting for it. This time, it's the Mountain Hawks again. Teddy Leggett, the senior long stick. Players really compliment one another. Mule likes to play the X game. Shelling's kind of your do it, your do it all. And then Curse is a really hard dodger who can just break people down and put his shoulder down and, and make a move for himself. So a nice uh, setup to the attack. You you always need to find not just the best players, but the pieces that work really well together down that there. That being an end of quarter goal, something you don't want to give up going into that. Um, going into that second quarter. You talked about the defensive slides being a little bit slower. You think that's the biggest thing for the Raiders to fix in the second quarter going on? Correct. Yeah, I think that slide timing is always the, such a key component to any defense. You have to figure out when you need to go. So you on go 11, seven of them on goal. And that's got the Mountain Hawks out in front, three to nothing through the first 15 minutes. It's Mike Sisselberger and Thomas Colucci again at the faceoff X. And Sisselberger takes that one clean. His fourth win in five tries. Eichelberger going quick, but poked free. What nice a great job. day from nice these job. ground balls that I've seen in several areas. This is classic Colgate Lee. Bodies are flying, hard checks, uh, really bloody ground balls, what we call them, all over the field. So, so fun to watch. Classic Colgate Lee. Although four nothing, um, you know, in, in history, as you said, ten nine, such closely contested games over the years. And even though Lehigh's won five in a row, most of them have been pretty close matchups. And James Spence taking a big risk trying to stop Minicus there, and it works. He gets the backup on that ball that went loose last weekend for Colgate. And with this Lehigh defense really being um, so stingy here uh, in the first quarter and a half of this game, Colgate may want to try to take some op more transition opportunities, even in if they don't have the man advantage, if it's just a 4v4 down there like in that circumstance it was a 3v3 5v5 if they can get those opportunities take them sizzleberger takes it himself off the face off and that one's at the end just go on the last run score the last three goals uh and get the win sizzleberger and colucci at the face off for lehigh and colgate it's five to two margin in favor of the mountain hawks so far no surprise sizzleberger sent second in the ncaa in face off percentage he's now got six of eight and he has really been dominant. I wonder if Colgate will decide to kind of pressure out. In his freshman campaign. Now you can see there's a little bit of juice and momentum, even though they're down to this Colgate Raiders sideline, um, as well as uh, the players on the field just getting a little bit more energy. Dodge hard for himself and put it past Collins. That stops a 3 nothing Colgate run. And Sisselberger wins another faceoff. Can Lehigh get another? 15 seconds left to play in half number one. Cursed at X. Nine seconds left. Shelling again. Question mark. More possessions uh, that they've lost by not being able to clear and, and, and the face-off deficiency. And right before the break, we were talking about the new face-off rules creating a lot of, you know, not necessarily for Mike Sisselberger, who's been dominating 8 of 11 so far, and that's now 9 of 12. But the wing's becoming all that more important in those situations where it isn't clean. And you get another turnover right there. James Cadigan scooping it up. And Minicus with an opportunity. Number streaking. 10 team in the country coming in here playing Colgate, uh, who has had one win on the year. Um, you know, been struggling through a few games. Again, the faceoff has been all Mike Sisselberger today. 75% coming in. He's 10 of 13. Now 11 of 14. He's tossed it up two times, though, already in this half. And just to shovel that one away. Man down defense and thought the crease would be open because quickly there in that set, they had two quick feeds right to the crease area. Defense wasn't hurt that much. The man down was Mike Hawkins. He's an attacker. 
And Lehigh, again, have won every single faceoff in the second half so far. Yeah, Foul we'll call at the same time as everyone else that last weekend in February. Originally scheduled to play against UAlbany. Then both teams had COVID-19 issues. For Lehigh in particular, 25% of the team in quarantine, multiple more injuries. And hello, Cole Kirst! That was fast. And just off the face off there, ball popped in. He's been uh, struggling, but has had success turning the ball over. And now Lehigh adds kind of a goal to this face off team's um, stat line, getting one here off the face off. That's two goals in eight seconds. Not too bad. It's now 14 of 17 for Mike Sisselberger. One of the two players on this Mountain Hawks squad on the... This face-off X is, is somewhere where improvements could be made on the Colgate side. Only three wins and 17 tries. But you're, when you're going against Mike Sisselberger, who again, third in the country in face-off percentage, you got to temper your expectations a little bit. Absolutely. It, it, I think going into the game uh, and here having a nice win, uh, they would have thought this attack... That is touted as one of the better attacks in the Patriot League, if not the country, and definitely here, coming out and showing, uh, showing that here on Crown Field. Head coach Kevin Cassis gives a lot of credit to the offensive success to his new offensive coordinator in John Crawley. It's his second season, first full season with the Mountain Hawks. And off the faceoff violation, it's Colgate possession. Deficit in the fourth. Second of the game for Sidorsky and the third of the season. One of the few places Colgate really needs to step up and is going to have a tough time is at that face-off X. Only 5 of 19, still scrambling for it. The wing's becoming all that more important on these messy situations with the new face-off changes. That goes out on Colgate, so Mountain Hawks possession. 75%, it's such an advantage uh, for one team, just the amount of possessions. You know, typically in the film study, you'll go back and count Look how many Scooping those ground balls for an attackman in double digits coming into today. And you can tack on his first of the day to lead to that score. Oh, Sisselberger, he's going to go himself. Scooping John those Collins. ground balls for an attackman in double digits coming into today. And you can tack on his first of the day to lead to that score. Oh, Sisselberger, he's going to go himself. But John Collins, the team's leader in distribution coming into today. And also coming into today through the first three games. He had five goals total, and now five today. And that's, that's pretty incredible. I think that shows his ability to read what the defense is doing if they're not sliding to him as quickly to put uh, the attack more on his, himself and attack directly at the cage uh, instead of looking to distribute. And that's clearly what has happened today. The which cage is has no chance of going in. Where it has started and um, been finished by this attack unit. Colgate just hasn't able to uh, have any sort of answer for Lehigh's uh, ability to win the face-offs and then attack down here with their attack unit. Haven't been able to stop that. Christian McHugh going quick, shelling in front. Um, that knocks off higher seed. So uh, both those teams, though highly ranked, will be a fun one to watch next weekend. I want a messy face-off. It is Connor Gaffney taking this one. He can't get it. And Cadigan's denied. The esteemed Avon Old Farm School in Connecticut. Owen Callahan scoops up this one. He didn't even play this season until that Bucknell game. Missed the first game due to COVID-19 protocol. Dressed for the game against Loyola. Did not play. And hello, Will Rosenblatt's helmet comes off. And of course, you got to stop playing for that. Absolutely. Got to stop the play to make sure the players are safe. Looked like Lehigh um, had the possession of the ball there coming out of the face one of those off. Stellar boarding schools up in the Northeast. That one down in Connecticut as well. It seems like Connor Gaffney. 